Um, so let's look at some examples under uh, the McLaurin series. Okay. Uh, so uh, this is pretty straightforward. Um, one of the things that always have to come to your mind when you think of uh, a McLaurin series is that it's just more like a Taylor uh, series that is uh, centered at zero, of which you can actually summarize it uh, in terms of you can say uh, Pn of x representing your series, which is going to be equals to uh, f of zero uh, plus f prime of zero, okay, multiplied by x plus f, f prime prime of zero multiplied by x squared divided by two factorial plus um, like it, it just keeps on going. You can have your f prime 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 of zero, then x to the third divide by uh, divide by three factorial. I'll say plus like that. Then you can sum it up by just saying f to the n of zero x to the n divide by n factorial. Okay, so. Uh, Sometimes they they tell you how many times you're supposed to differentiate. Let's say they want you to differentiate up to the fifth derivative or the fourth derivative, for example. Sometimes they don't. A question can't can't tell you how many times you're supposed to differentiate. So um, the best thing that you can do is that differentiate as many times as you can. But of course, maybe even just up to the fourth or fifth derivative if you have enough time. Don't. Um, don't overdo it, but again, don't do maybe just two derivatives. You can go up to the fourth at least. That that should that should be a minimum. Yeah. So uh, the first example that we are going to look at is um, let me name it as my a. Okay. Let's say this is our a. So uh, let me say it's actually a function g of x equals to just a simple function uh, cos uh, cos root five x. Like that, okay. So uh, remember to say, since if we are talking about the McLaurin series, it sh you should always remember that this is when c is equal to zero. That's more like your Taylor uh, series, but your c is equal to zero, meaning centered at zero. So here I'm going to differentiate up to. Um, let me say, okay, I'll, I'll go as far as I can go. Okay, so my g prime of x. It's going to be equals to uh, minus root five sine root five x. This is actually interesting because it's, it's reminding us of how you differentiate trig functions. So you you differentiate cos, you get minus sine. Then you multiply by the derivative of the angle, which is the angle is root five x. When you differentiate it, you're going to get root five. Okay, so this is root five x like that. Okay, so the second derivative g uh, prime prime of x. This is going to be equals to. Uh, it will be minus five cos uh, root five x like that. Okay, then how, do, how am I coming up with this one? When you differentiate sine, you get cos. Then multiply by the derivative of the angle. The derivative of the angle we said is um, root five. So you multiply by this root five there, you get that five there. Okay, so this is not a three in case someone thinks that's a, that's a five. Okay, so the third derivative g prime 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 of x is going to be equals to. Um, this is going to be equals to uh, actually I think that's going to be positive. Is it positive? Yeah, to be positive. So that would be five root five sine uh, sine root five x. Okay. So let's look at the fourth derivative. That was the third. So the fourth derivative is going to be equals to um, twenty five. Okay, twenty five cos root 5x like that.
then what about the fifth derivative um, the fifth derivative is going to be equals to minus um, that's going to be minus uh, 25 root 5 sine uh, sine root 5 x this I think that's pretty simple up to this point okay so uh, let me look at the last one let's look at the sixth derivative okay this is going to be equals to one to minus 125 minus 125 just always remember to to multiply by the derivative of the angle okay like that so now uh, remember to say we have to uh, you have to evaluate for x at c is equals to zero since these are centered at zero so meaning this is going to be um, uh, at zero more like uh, g of zero is going to be equals to uh, cos zero is what cos zero is a one uh, g prime of zero is going to be equals to zero because sine zero is a zero then g prime prime of zero is still going is this one is going to be uh, negative five okay then g prime 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 of zero that's th our third derivative then evaluate for zero that's going to be a zero then the fourth derivative okay when you evaluate uh, with zero you're going to get um, 25 then the fifth you're going to get a zero then the sixth you're going to get uh, minus 25 125 rather minus 125 okay so now this actually tells us to say um, uh, McLaurin series is just the addition of these so this same uh, this same more like equation that I've written here is just a matter of uh, making uh, substitutions there okay so please remember these values that I've uh, written here okay maybe I can just copy them and place them up because it's not all of them that we need so this one I can place it there this one I can place it there and the last one which I can place right there. The rest we don't we no longer need them. Okay. So that's G. So you have this one, that one, the, and that one there. Like, like there are four of them. But you can go as far as you'd want to go. It doesn't really you're not you're not limited. Okay. So now uh, it tells us to say our P of X is actually going to be equals to so according to, to this f of 0 in this case that's our g of 0 is what is a 1 then f prime is a 0 so we are not going to consider that then f prime prime we have found that is negative 5 so they're just going to say it's minus 5 x squared over 2 factorial so it's just a matter of replacing for that one there then the rest you just copy them the way they are yeah so I can uh, look at the third is zero then the fourth is also a minus is it a minus no it's a plus so that's going to be like plus 25 multiplied by x to the power 3 divided by 3 factor then you I think this would be a minus which is um, this one here so you just continue following the same pattern that's how you do it okay so let's look at uh, our second and last example under McLaurin series Okay, so uh, another example that we can look at, uh, let me look at the hyperbolic function. So that's b. Uh, let's say we have our h of x, which is equals to sine, uh, no, 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 it's hyperbolic sine, hyperbolic sine of x. So all the same here is just a matter of differentiating here. Okay, so I can say h prime of x, which is equals to hyperbolic cosine of x okay 
meaning the second derivative is going to be equals to hyperbolic sine of x. That's the beauty about hyperbolic functions, even uh, exponential functions. Um, then the third derivative uh, is going to be equals to hyperbolic cosine of x. Then the fourth derivative will be hyperbolic sine of x. Then the fifth derivative is going to be equals to hyperbolic cosine of x. Um, maybe up to the sixth, that's just like I did with the previous one, is the hyperbolic sine um, of x. Okay? When you evaluate at, uh, let's say, h of 0, this is going to be equals to 0. Then h prime of 0 is going to be equals to 1. h prime prime of 0 is going to be equals to 0. h prime 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 of 0 is going to be equals to 1. And like the pattern just continues like that. It's going to be a 0. Then anywhere this course is going to be a 1. This is going to be a 1. And this is going to be a 0. Okay? So those are the ones that we need. So we observe to say uh, we have h prime of we have h prime of 0 giving us 1. Then we have h h prime prime prime, which is the third derivative, also giving us a 1. Then another one that is giving us a 1 is the fifth derivative. That's going to be 1, like that. Okay, there we have it. So now it's just a matter of substituting in that equation that I wrote at first. Okay, so meaning this is going to be like uh, p of n of x, which is for the polynomial, that's going to be, it will start from 0. Okay, you're supposed to say f of 0, like that. In this case, that's our g of 0, I mean h of 0. So this is 0, don't have to put it. So that's just going to be like, going to start from x, okay? Plus, the next one is the third derivative, meaning it's going to be x to the power 3 divided by 3 factorial plus. Uh, the other one is the fifth. That's going to be x to the power 5 divided by 5 factorial. I believe these are odd numbers. It's a pattern. So that's going to be x to the power 7, I guess. Then 7 factorial plus x to the power 9 divided by 9 factorial plus and it just keeps on going here and this right here is our this there is our series you can actually choose to simplify this okay even the previous one uh when you try to simplify the previous one you can actually uh go back to the to the to the video the first one that we did within this same video is uh you can actually write it this way uh the summation from n is equals to zero you can write it as negative one to the power n, uh, then 5 to the power n, x to the power 2n, divide by 2n factorial. Then for this one, you can choose to write it as infinite sum from n is equals to 0 to uh, infinity of x to the power 2n plus 1, divide by 2n plus 1 factorial, and this is how we do it. Okay, so uh, that's all in this video. Thank you very much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.